Welcome back to Mars Horizon, folks. We are doing okay. We're doing okay. We are at 98% Mars readiness, but we still only have... Whoops, that's not where I wanted to go. We still only have an average chance of success. So we're researching because that's basically what we need. We need expertise, and that is earned by completing research. So we are currently researching rockets because they take the least research and we can do quite a lot of them a lot faster than we can do buildings. So yeah, that's what we're doing. And that's what we're doing. So Atlas 3 will be done next month and then we'll start the next uh, rocket type. So we are launching the astronaut recovery tests next month, then the Cosmogonal complete in two months, Skylab complete in three months, Centrifuge training complete in five months, and Saria is complete in five months. So let's continue on to the next event. Atlas 3 research is complete. A powerful heavy lift liquid fuel rocket able to pay, place large satellites in geosynchronous orbit and far beyond. All right, and the astronaut recovery test is ready to launch. We have 99% launch reliability, 70% payload reliability, and it'll give us some more science, which is what we're all about right now. So let's see whether it looks terrible. Bad conditions, 3% critical failure risk, 7% negative. Let's continue. We have ignition. We have liftoff. Cleared the tower. Don't blow up. We're going. We're going. Alright. Good, good. I do love the shuttles. They're so reliable. And we get a positive event because of our upgrade. Plus one data on first task and mission. Okay. Let's see. We have radiation to deal with. That's weird. Okay. Don't think I've seen radiation on Earth before. 10 com, 10 nav. We need, and we need to keep our radiation down. As in, we really need to keep our radiation down. So if we do a... We have four turns, three commands per turn. We only have one astronaut. We'll do a module data processing, then we'll ping the location and do a ground control connection. That will keep our radiation at zero. It goes up plus four every turn. That is a lot. It gives us two, three, and one. That's fine. Let's do it. Dang it. We don't have a whole lot of power. Okay, we stay at 70%. So what we can do... Is one of these, one of these, and one of these again. Four, six, and one. And we keep our radiation down. Nice. So we have two turns remaining. So why why don't we just do the same one more time? Uh, that's not what we did last time. We did that, that, and that. That gives us six, nine, and one. Then next turn, we can do that, and that, and that, and that will get us there. Okay, and we don't need to worry about radiation this time, so we can do a signal return test. A 
module data processing and a ground control connection. That gives us our bonus award. We can we can resist once. We can resist once. No need to resist there. No need to resist there. And no need to resist there. 50% bonus award achieved. Nice. And we are heading back home to Earth. Beautiful. In comes the shuttle for a nice landing. There we go. There we go. Very nice. We get 1,404 support, 720 science for four months. And Alvarez needs to recuperate. Then we'll do the eight times SRBs. Actually, no, we won't. We'll do the Centaur D that gives us one Mars expertise as well. So the Centaur D it is. And we're up to 94%. Next month we'll be at 95. Uh, let's take a look at what everyone else is doing. Upcoming launch Mars, Mars flyby. They're not researching everything, anything at the moment. The NASA. The Russians are doing the Grand Tour research. They're They've just done the Uranus flyby, and they're launching a commercial satellite. China is researching docking training facility. Mercury orbit they did, and Mars orbit they're doing. Japan is doing water sound suppression research, and they're doing the Pluto flyby. They just did the space station. All right. Well, we do actually have a mission slot. I don't want to do the mission with them. No request missions there. And this is too far away for it to matter. So let's just continue on to next month where we have the Cosmogonical complete and the Skylab complete. Martian Sunrise Captured. A stunning Martian sunrise has been captured by cameras attached to your ground habitat and on the Red Planet. Your PR team has made the most of their image, releasing a color-corrected version to represent the bluish spectacle that would be seen with human eyes. This is what our astronauts will be waking up to once we get them to Mars, an agency spokesperson commented, and they'll be able to do so from the comfort and safety of their advanced ground habitat. 400 support. Centaur D is complete. And the private space station payload is complete. Plus 10 to 25% uh, science reward. Nice. And the payload reliability goes down 10%, but it's still pretty reliable at 80%. And then we have our X ray telescope com vehicle complete. So, science training mission bonus. Nice. Increased by 100%, but minus 10% launch reliability, but it's still quite reliable. So we'll do science training. We will launch in October. And we will confirm that. So five months until launch there. We can now do the supplementary SRBs and we're up to 95% here and the complementary SRBs will be done next month so that will take us up to 96% crude observatory we're not going to do that I don't think we need to do any more missions actually uh, private space station uh, I'm guessing oh, we can just do it so let's Let's use the horse. All good. Confirm. Refit shuttle. Four months. Not bad. 
Centrifuge training is complete in three months. Sire complete in three months. And Horus complete in four months. So let's just continue on to next month. Because that is the eight times SRBs. Eight solid fuel rocket boosters designed to be attached to, uh, to a launch vehicle to provide additional thrust. All right. And then it's the Titan IV. Yeah. Titan IV next month. And it will be done next month. So that takes us to 97%. Centrifuge training is complete. Unlocks tier 3 astronaut talents. And Titan IV research complete. A versatile heavy lift solid fuel rocket capable of placing large payload into Earth orbit and beyond. All right. The lab module payload is complete. So let's design the vehicle for that. And we can reuse our other shuttle. That takes three months. We now have new crew available. Problem solver three, minus three random resource requirements per task. Nice comms officer. Plus one comms where the crew command in mission. Plus one power per turn in mission. That is nice. And then the others, navigator, starts task, celebrity, enthusiast, data collector. Some pretty nice uh, things here. Very nice things. Well, more research. It's Centaur G's turn. And we are up to 97% and 99%. What do we have out here? We have a Venus mission. Venus weather report. A Venusian weather report. Five month mission. Do we have any requests here? I don't really want to do a challenging mission, to be honest. Uh, so I think we'll plan for this Venusian weather report. Give it some extra power. Build that. And Horus is complete next month. We are not getting a lot of science now. Bella Arias retires. Astronaut Bella Arias has retired and will no longer be available for missions. Okay. The private space station vehicle is complete. We need some crew for that. Uh, I think I'll hire you. And you. And then we'll send... Send our bootstrapper on this and our safeguard and our athlete because i want jadius to be ready to go to mars but i suppose he will be you know what let's send jadius on this mission because it's a lot of science as far as i remember they are pretty good science we'll launch next month confirm so we are launching the private space station next month and we are launching the X-ray telescope next month. And then in two months we will have two vehicles complete and a payload complete. So not bad. This will be a lot of science. X-ray telescope is ready for launch. Look at that science. But I'm guessing it's over a long time. Look, we'll even do it second NASA and the others don't even have the research yet. That's weird. Then the private space station is also good science. And very good launch reliability. So let's go. Bad conditions. Uh, do we want to go in this? 
No, let's reschedule that for next month. And then we can try and launch this guy. Hopefully the weather is better for that. No. We'll reschedule that as well for next month. And we'll continue on to next month where a lot is going on. A lot is going on. All right, Venusian weather report payload complete. Lunar broadcast vehicle complete. Laboratory module vehicle complete. Nice payload liability extra there. And we are ready to launch the X-ray telescope and we are ready to launch the private space station. Let's launch. We are not postponing anything this time. Good conditions, nice. Only 1% risk of going boom. Let's go. This is the private space station. Alrighty. Off we go. Looking good. Beautiful. And we get a secure launch. And let's achieve orbit, shall we? We need to deal with drift. Minus one to one, but there is no fluctuations. We have six turns, three commands per turn, and we need 50 nav. Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. We'll do that, and then we'll do that. That gives us six, two, and four. Dang it. We'll assist it. And then we'll do two orbital plane adjustments. Actually, let's do three orbital plane adjustments. That'll take us to 24 and get our... Um, drift back to the center. And I think we'll recharge power twice and do another orbital plane adjustment. That takes us to 30. We have four turns left. Well, three after this one. Uh, we can accept that. All right, so now we can do a manual data collection, conduct some experiments, and an orbital plane adjustment. And then next turn, we can do three orbital plane adjustments, maybe. And we'll get there. We can't do three orbital plane adjustments, but... Because we only have two power, but we can recharge power, and then we can do two. That takes our... Drift to zero. And we only need to do a location extrapolation next turn in order to... Win. And get our 25% bonus reward. So location extrapolation, two power recharges, actually three power recharges. Our drift is at zero, 25% bonus reward achieved. Beautiful. All right, that's Earth orbit. Then we need to deploy the space station systems. Again, we need to deal with drift. It does fluctuate this time, minus one to one, and we need to keep it at zero exactly. We need 14 comms, 20 nav, uh, data, and 8 nav. Okay. Okay. The drift doesn't matter until the last turn. Uh. 
So if we do this, then we get two, eight, and zero. We really need to hit this and this soon. All right, our drift goes back up to one. Let's do that. And that, that takes it to seven, 10 and two. And then we can do a visual spectrum sampling again. Again, we're at zero, seven, 13 and two. The nav is gonna be hard to get this time because there's basically only two that give it to us and they only give two each. So maybe do something like this, nine, seventeen, six. Nice. Give us an extra nav. No, an extra data. That's okay too, actually. All right, we are down to minus two on the drift. So, if we do a flight path control, Then an infrared mapping and an external sensor alignment. That takes us to minus one on the drift. It gives us the data that we need. It gives us the nav that we need. So we just need some, uh, some comms. Confirm that. Nice. We'll assist that. Seven, twenty-seven, and eight. We have two turns left. We do a recharge, a flight path control, and a mission control monitoring. That almost gets us there. All right, and we stay at zero, so we can do a signal attenuation test. And another signal attenuation test, and recharge our power twice. That gives us 50% bonus reward achieved, drift right on the money. And it is our last turn, so we do need to win this. We can resist whatever we need to resist. And there we go. Private space station in orbit. Wonderful. Does look good, doesn't it? And that gives us 300 science for 25 months, 4,097 support. And those three are unavailable for 12 months. Look at that. All right. Uh, let's do the X-ray telescope launch. Man, terrible conditions. We're not doing that. Reschedule to March, I guess. Then we have this guy who needs four crew. We'll use our problem solver, our scientist, our athlete, and our electronics expert. Confirm. Uh, we will not use our scientist because we don't get any science for this. That kind of blows. So let's hire someone inexhaustible. No recovery time for this astronaut after mission. Uh, 
Uh, let's get the test pilot. Confirm. And we'll do the payload training because 99% on the launch reliability. This is an incredibly reliable mission, this lunar broadcast. And I guess we'll go next month. All right, then we have the laboratory module, which also needs three crew. Jesus, we're losing, using a lot of crew right now. Mm. Let's grab a data collector and a comms officer. So data collector, comms officer, scientist. Again, super reliable. We'll definitely do science training and the launch date will be March. Confirm. And then we have the last one, the Venusian weather report, where we need to design a vehicle. We'll use the Agena, the Atlas, Payload reliability sucks. So let's do advanced shock, shock absorption for the extra payload reliability. And there's nothing that gives us extra payload reliability here. So we'll just do it in house. Build vehicle. All right. Two months we'll have the Centaur G. That'll take us up to 98%. Let's just check on Mars here and see what's going on. We've done that. No one else has the science. We've done that. No one else has the science. We've done that. Japan has the science. We've done that. No one else has the science. We've done that. China has the science. And we've done that. And Japan has the science. And no one has the science for the crew Mars landing except us. All right, next month. We have the lunar broadcast mission, which is lucrative here. We don't really need the money. Shitty weather. 3% risk of going boom. We'll reschedule it. There's no point in risking it. We're not losing science by postponing it, so it's fine. Next month we have the funding review. We're nowhere near the next year. Uh, it's 185,000. We're only at 172, more or less. We get the water sounding, sound suppression complete, which increases launch reliability. So yeah. Budget review. We did get 6,700 extra support. And water sound suppression is complete. Water sound suppression uses water to dampen the noise produced by engines at launch, the vibrations of which could otherwise damage the vehicle. Improves launch reliability when placed next to a medium or large launch pad, which it is. Sensor G research complete. A liquid fuel upper stage cable of launching large payloads into Earth orbit and beyond. Wyvern research complete. An advanced liquid propellant heavy lift rocket that can lift payloads into Earth orbit and beyond. Okay, so that's the, uh, that's this thing, the Wyvern. Wow, 85% launch reliability. Four months to build, 680,000. That's actually, and it has a capacity of 38,000. That's actually a very nice rocket. It's a very nice rocket. All right, so we'll do the Ariane 6 and the supplementary Ariane rockets that will give us another 2% and that'll get us there to 100% at which point we will send our mission astronaut punches conspiracy theorist one of your retired astronauts, Cole Capone, has punched a member of the public who accused them of faking the moon landing. Cole Capone was famously part of the crew who achieved the historic landing. We'll support the astronaut. 
Your agency has stated that whilst never advocating violence, Cole Capone's actions were understandable. Cole Capone is a hero, one of hundreds involved in a monumental human achievement, said a spokesperson. They should be admired, not disparaged. The media at large have aligned with your standpoint with one prominent newspaper congratulating the former astronaut on another perfect landing. Ha <laughs> uh, Gained 400 support. Nice. We have 99% Mars readiness. So next month we are launching the laboratory and the X-ray telescope again if the weather permits. Then we have the Paradiso complete in two months. We're launching the Lunar Broadcast in three months. And uh, we'll do all that in the next one, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.